heirs of immortality, being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Titus 3, verse 7. Every earnest petition for grace and strength will be answered. Ask God to do for you those things that you cannot do for yourselves. Tell Jesus everything. Lay open before him the secrets of your heart, for his eye searches the inmost recesses of your soul, and he reads your thoughts as an open book. When you have asked for the things that are necessary for your soul's good, believe that you will receive them, and you shall have them. Accept his gifts with your whole heart, for Jesus has died that you might have the precious things of heaven as your own. The youth must not suppose that they can go on living careless and indulgent lives, seeking no preparation for the kingdom of God, and yet in time of trial be able to stand firm for the truth. They need to seek earnestly to bring into their lives the perfection that is seen in the life of the Savior, so that when Christ shall come, they will be prepared to enter through the gates into the city of God. God's abounding love and presence in the heart will give the power of self-control and will mold and fashion the mind and character. The grace of Christ in the life will direct the aims and purposes and capabilities into channels that will give moral and spiritual power power which the youth will not have to leave in this world, but which they will carry with them into the future life and retain through the eternal ages. All heaven is interested in men and women whom God has valued so much as to give his beloved son to die to redeem them. No other creature that God has made is capable of such improvement such refinement, such mobility as man. Then, when men became blunted by their own debasing passions, sunken in vice, what a specimen for God to look upon! Man cannot conceive that he may be and what he may become. Through the grace of Christ, he is capable of constant mental progress. Let the light of truth shine into his mind, and the love of God be shed abroad in his heart, and he may, through the grace Christ has died, to impart to him, be a man of power, a child of earth, but heir of immortality.